Hello, this is Rocky Marciano. When I was heavyweight champion of the world, they called me the Brockton Blockbuster. You find out why. Thank you for taking the time to uh, talk to me today. Oh, no problem. Anytime if someone honors my uncle, I'd be oh. happy to cooperate. I'm doing everything I can to, to honor your you uncle. Are. Yeah. <laughs> I know you are. Yeah, well, you know, my most poignant memory, obviously, is the last time I saw him. Um, my husband and I were married at West Point, New York. My husband graduated from West Point, the U.S. Military Academy. You know, we weren't sure if he was going to make it to the wedding or not. He wasn't always able to make, you know, big family affairs. Mm -hmm. And um, so my husband and I uh, were at the altar, and all of a sudden we could hear a lot of rumbling. And I kind of peeked my head around, <laughs> and there, there he came in with this, like an entourage of people <laughs> with him. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you could just hear the, you know, the, you know, the cadets that were there, you know, yeah. um, and Mike's friends and my friends and you know everyone you know everyone there just being excited to have Rocky there. Um, you know there were limousines and you know <laughs> he, showed, he, he showed up like uh, you know quite a in um, the the one thing. Our, first of all, we we uh, we got a family picture that everyone was in there except Mary Ann and my aunt Barbara, Rocky's wife. Mm -hmm. Um, they were in New York City, and Mary Ann was having a procedure, so she couldn't make it. Yeah. But um, I, you know, when we danced together, uh, I said to Uncle Rocky, uh, he had just done the clay fight, and we we had been talking about it, Muhammad Ali. Mm -hmm. I still call him Cassius Clay. Yeah. And um, I said to him, Uncle Rock, you know, do you know who won the fight? And he looked at me and he said, Who do you think won the fight? <laughs> <laughs> and he laughed like hell. So it was really special because it was the last time that all of us, in fact, had seen him, you know, saw him before his death. Um, so that's that's probably my most poignant memory. But, you know, I have memories like from a little girl, he, uh, Barbara, his wife, Barbara, before they were married, lived uh, close to where, where my mom, where we lived. And uh, my mom said he could now every, you know, every day that he could. And, and uh, ask if they could, you know, take me. He could take me in the carriage, and um, and uh, then they'd sit and have tea afterwards. It's kind of hard for me to imagine now him doing, you know, such such things that uh, ordinary people do. Yes. Because by yes. the time I remembered him, he was, uh, you know, heavyweight champion. And uh, I can remember the the night he won the heavyweight championship. Um, being at my grandmother's, and she was at church, and my cousin and I were with my great. Oh, no, no, I don't even. I can't even remember who we were staying with. But um, next thing you know, she lived like right down this across from the park, right down the street from the Ward Two Club. And uh, next thing you know, like all these people, like outside of my grandmother's house, my cousin Bobby and I were little kids, and you know we were so excited and. And uh, he brought me back, after the fight, he brought me back a beautiful um, gold boxing glove with a diamond in it and a chain. And I have it to this day, and I wear it to this day. Oh, wonderful. Um, so that was really nice. Um, I spent a lot of time with him, and every Easter, he would fly me down to Florida. And he was just such a carefree person, you know, we'd... we'd do all kinds of things, and then my mother would call and say, you know, when's Donna coming home, Rock? And he'd say, oh, don't worry about it. She's so smart. She doesn't, she can miss a week of school. He wasn't really good at following up and getting you home again, but, uh, <laughs> but, you know, and then when I get to the airport, sometimes he couldn't be there, and he'd send someone, and my mother would always say to me, don't ever go with anyone, you know, it's strange, so, you know, I, 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 I you know, the guy would come up and say, oh, you know, Uncle Rocky sent me and you know. <laughs> so he was, he was quite a character in that way, you know. Um, he was generous with all of us. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he, he got a kick out of a lot of little things. And he'd, every Christmas he'd, he'd give my, my cousin.
cousin Bobby and I like fifty dollars, and he'd say, well, "Just buy a gift for everyone in the family." So we go like to the, you know, five and dime store and buy, you know, gifts for everyone. And he was thrilled by that. So I, I kind of hesitated talking to you at the beginning, but when I read the book, I changed my mind about it. You know. If you like this content, then hit the subscribe button. To really support this channel, consider joining for just over a dollar a month and unlock ad-free members-only content. Every member becomes a research funder and will play a key part in revealing the real Rocky. I just enjoyed combat. I just enjoyed the sport that I had learned so well. And I had practiced so much that when the bell rang, I did a job. I could concentrate on the opponent. It was a great, great career for me. I'm proud and very happy to talk about it. Sometimes I, um, I wonder why I was such an aggressive man in the ring.